All right, hold on. Okay, first just, of all, uh, how do we beast. approach this? <laughs> and because it, it, I feel a sense of panic, yeah, yeah, yeah. overwhelmed, the terror of missing something. Of course, the terror for me of being back in the closet. Oh. Sorry, it's so easy. <laughs> Ping like a hanging rock. Oh, you know, it just it just came up. Um, yeah, definitely get it. <laughs> <laughs> Have um, you seen I it? I haven't seen it in a very long time, but it's the girls. It's the girls, right? The go. Now, is it based on a real thing that, like, some kind of disturbed? I feel like there's a story that it is based on, like, like, like some girls disappearing. Like they never, like they, they might have. Uh, in this time period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you really kind of only associate kidnapping with like hard copy, in the '90s. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Like kidnapping has such a kind of salacious like. Oh well, '80s was huge for kidnapping. '80s. <laughs> it, was the gold, it was the golden age. Let's see. Uh, have you seen Three Women? Mm, no. That's okay. Yeah, is it, it? It's, I don't know. No, no, it's totally okay. Uh, I, don't worry. No, I know, I know. Like, uh, like Stand Up took me away. Okay. <laughs> and, 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 you know, it's it's paid off. To me, it's like Shelley Duvall as um, oh, yeah. Millie. It's like, it's as if you're watching, like, Valerie Cherish. Like, you're watching, like, The Comeback, but, like, on shrooms. And, like, and that, and... And for that reason, it's top five. It's made it back back into the top five. I mean, I know I need it. I have no idea what it is. It's the a cover. pair of siblings from London purchase a surprisingly affordable. That's how it always goes. <laughs> a deal on a house, lonely clifftop house in Cornwall. Uh, yes. Oh, it's about ghosts. Yes. Ghosts Any are ghost huge. film on here, I want. Yes. Okay, so so keep an eye open. You know. Can we saying? do a ghost filter? Like, I feel like I want Night of the Living Dead. Criterion. You know what oh I'm my saying? god, of course. I mean, I've never seen Look. that. <laughs> wow. Fat Girl, Jacqueline, you have to see. Yeah, I've never seen it. You gotta see it. I'm gonna bring it out for you. Okay. Fat Girl, so special. I'm taking Twin Peaks Firewalk with me. Oh my god, that's on great Have we ever watched um, any uh, Twin Peaks together? No. Um, it, it's comedically pretty big for me. Oh my god, this is very important to me. Magnificent Obsession. Jane Wyman's blind acting no. is hugely influential to me. It's is like, it? Is it because it's good? No. Oh, comedically influential. Yeah, I mean, and I love Jane Wyman yeah. as an actress. It's not, and what is good, what is bad with acting, you know, yeah. as we talk about constantly, you know, it's like, but it's, very, it's, it's not that it's good or bad, actually. It's that it's very noble. I it's like the noble blind. No. She's like, she's like, you know, they're like, can I help you up the stairs? You know, like when she has her oh, glasses, oh. you know, can I help you? Like a little girl. Yeah. Can I help you up the stairs, miss? And she's, she's like, I'm fine. I'm getting Island of Lost Souls, a twisted treasure from Hollywood's pre-code days. So. Oh, oh, pre-code. Remember pre-code days? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen white material. Dying to see this, listen to this. In white material, the great contemporary French filmmaker Claire Denis known for her restless, intimate dramas, introduces an unforgettably crazed character played by a ferocious Isabel Huppert. Marie is an entitled white woman living in Africa, desperately yeah. unwilling to give up her family's crumbling coffee plantation no. despite the Civil War closing in on her. No. Oh my god. I'll see you there. <laughs> okay, gotta take some drama waters. Oh, well I gotta talk about female trouble for an hour. <laughs> female trouble, top five. Really? Truly top five. I'm not being silly. Let me see. Have you seen it? No. It's so important. It's like, it's like Jerry Blank mm. in the 70s. You know, it's like, it's, it's so, it's so special. It moves so well. It's so important mm. to me. Glamour has never been more grotesque <laughs> than in Female Trouble. And Edith Massey is um, the funniest person ever to have ever lived. And you would... You would love her so much, yeah. and like, and I do think it's like one of the most subversive things in Female Trouble is she lived. Her character wants her nephew, I think it's her nephew, to be gay. She's like disappointed that he's yes. straight. Yes. Yes. And she's like, she's like, oh, don't you want to be one of those Nelly boys? Or she's, she's like, she's like, the world of heterosexual is a sick and boring life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's so beautiful. I want you to take it. Oh, I I'm first taking it. it. I'm taking it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, careful. Hold Ready? on. I'm going to do it. Done. I'm going to do no, it. No, you're going to pull down the whole shelf. No, watch. Okay. 
I've never seen Time You Have Time yeah. Down. I'm thrilled to. Me either. Is there still room in my purse? <laughs> it's not a purse, it's a chote. Sorry I yelled. Thank you so much, Criterion. We love you. We're Thank really you so honored. Much. Really honored to be here. This is a thrill.